everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet these mini fruit scrubbies. These are so super cute for your bathroom and they also make a very fun addition to a spa basket or they can accompany a gift um, of a spa product or something like that. These are really easy to make. We're gonna be using some very basic stitches. We're gonna be using some nice cotton yarn. I'm gonna show you how to make the body, the main part of the scrubby, by just working some simple half double crochets. We're later on in the video going to learn how to make this simple one round leaf and a lovely little hanging loop that's kind of like a stem. So let's get started. Each one of these scrubbies is about three inches wide. The leaf is about one and a half inches tall and our little hanging loop is about two inches tall from the base of the scrub to the top of the loop. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and we're gonna be using a 5.5 millimeter eye crochet hook. For the yarn, I'm going to be using some cotton dishcloth yarn. Now, any cotton dishcloth yarn will work great. Um, just know I used for the poof part, the fruit part, I used a red to represent the apple, an orange for the orange, a yellow for the lemon, and then the green for the stem hanging loop and leaf. But really any cotton dishcloth yarn will work great for this project. What we're gonna do is put the uh, slip knot on our hook first. So take your yarn, wrap it around your fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop and tighten. Next, we're gonna create a ring that we'll be working all of our stitches into. Now I'm gonna do a chain and make a ring out of my chains, but if you prefer the magic uh, ring method, please feel free to do that. Okay, so what we need to do is chain six. To make a chain, wrap yarn around the hook, and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Next, we're gonna join in the farthest chain from the hook, that chain, the first one you made, with a slip stitch. So insert the hook into that farthest chain from the hook, bring up a loop, now bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook. And now we have the ring that we'll be working our stitches into. Again, if you wanna use the magic ring, feel free, totally up to you. The next thing we're going to do is uh, we're gonna work round one. So what we need to do is chain two, one, two, and then we're gonna work 30 half double crochets into the center of the ring. And that sounds like a lot, and it is, and it's gonna get really smushed. So I'm gonna show you to kind of like push things aside as you go, okay? So let's work a few together. To make a half double crochet, you're gonna wrap the yarn around the hook, insert the hook into the center of the ring, bring up a loop, you'll have three loops on your hook, wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through all three of those loops, okay? We're going to hold this tail along the edges we work and that will weave it in as we go along. Okay, so we made one half double crochet, we need to do a total of 30. So we'll do a few together. Wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the center of the ring, bring up a loop, Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops. That's two. And see how I, I'm pushing things over as I go, all right? So work half double crochet, that's three, four, five, six, seven, pushing things over, eight, nine, 10. I'm still holding that tail along the edges I work also. All right, so I just did 10 and we're just gonna push them over, push them over, and that will give you more space in that ring. We want it to be crowded. That's uh, what gives it this lovely um, appearance of all these like smushy ruffles. Okay, so let's continue to work our half double crochets into the center of the ring for a total of 30. So as you can see, our little circle here is pretty ruffly and that's a good thing. Okay, push things over as needed. And then what you're gonna do is count two chains up. Remember that chain two at the beginning of our round? What we're gonna do is count two chains up and then you're gonna join in that chain with a slip stitch. So insert the hook into that second chain up, bring up a loop. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Okay, and this is the beginning of our orange that we're creating. All right, so at this point, it's totally up to you, but what I like to do is kind of give this center ring a little tug and then snip that uh, strand just so it's out of my way 
Um, it just stays out of the way while you work and it doesn't get wrapped up in anything. Now you'll have an opening and that's fine. You definitely will not see it at the end. If you close it up or leave it open, it's totally up to you. You will not see it at the end, okay? So let's begin round two. Round two is where you're really gonna see some of this roughly stuff starting to happen. So for round two, it's super easy. All we're gonna do is chain two, one and two, and then we're gonna work, two, uh, excuse me, four half double crochets in every single stitch all the way around. And that sounds really easy, you're, but you're gonna start getting these ruffles. And it is easy, but it's gonna really start to fold in on itself and, and look really interesting. So it's, it's good to, um, you know, mark your spot or keep your hook in your work even when you put it down, just, just make sure you um, mark your spot, really. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's do a few of these together. We're gonna work four half double crochets in each stitch. Wrap the yarn around the hook, insert the hook into that first stitch, bring up the loop, yarn around the hook, all three loops. One, that was one. Now two, and three, and four. So as you can see, we're putting a whole lot of stitches in every stitch. Uh, you might need to scoot things over a little bit so you can see what you're doing. Next stitch, four half double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay, scooting things over. Now, if you noticed, before I scooted things over, this looked like the next stitch, but it's actually kind of hidden under there. So when you pull things over, it kind of reveals that next stitch to you. Okay, let's work that next stitch and I'll show you again what I mean. One, two, three, and four, okay? So when we look at it, it looks like that's the next stitch, right? This little hole that you see here, but when we pull it open, there's actually one there, okay? So just make sure you're kind of pushing things aside as you work so you can really see everything. Now, I will say if you miss a stitch here and there, it won't really make a huge difference. It'll still look nice and roughly, but if you miss a lot of those stitches, if you miss like every other one, for example, it will make a big difference. It won't look as roughly, okay? So push things over, work your four half double crochets. Okay, so I'm gonna continue working my half double crochets, four in each stitch, all the way around the circle that we created and you can go back and count if you uh, lose your spot. So one, two, three, and four, pulling it open, move on to the next stitch, okay? So I'm gonna keep working my half double crochets all the way around, and then when we rejoin, I'm gonna show you how to finish up the round, and we're gonna learn how to make a little one round leaf that's super easy to make. We're gonna make our little stem, and then we're gonna put it all together. Now, as you can see, we've only done a few stitches here, We've only worked into a few stitches, rather, and we already have this kind of uh, winding, ruffly beginning to our fruit, okay? So keep working your stitches. We'll rejoin in just a moment. Just coming up to the end of row two, again, we were just working four half double crochets in every stitch. And then what we're gonna do is do what we did before, join at the topmost chain of your turning chain with a slip stitch. Insert your hook into that topmost chain bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Now I just wanted to show you how things are really starting to curl up. That's exactly what we want. Our final row of our pattern for our fruit part, and then we'll move on to the stem and leaf, is gonna be row three. So for row three, let me just zoom in a little bit for you. We're going to chain two once again, and then we're going to work, uh, same thing, four half double crochets in each stitch. So one, two, three, and four. And you're just gonna do this in each stitch all the way across. Now I say across, but we're really going around in a circle. And as you work, you'll need to kind of like straighten these um, ripples out so you can see what you're doing. So let's work four half double crochets in each stitch in every stitch all the way around, and then when we get towards the end of this round, we'll rejoin and we'll move on to the next part. Just working the last stitch of the row, that last half double crochet, and then I'm gonna join with a slip stitch to close the row, just like we've been doing all along. That top chain, work a slip stitch in there. And now our scrubby is complete, and it looks very much like our other fruits. So grab your scissors, 
cut the yarn and then we're going to fasten off. So just wrap the yarn around the hook and pull it through. And then you can take your tapestry needle and just thread your tail. And just try when you do your tail just to go sort of towards the middle. Go in all those little stitches. There's a lot of stitches there, so it might be a little bit snug. And then just pull it through. You can give it a little tug to kind of pull in that corner. And then take your scissors and just trim. And the main part of our scrubby is now complete. Now what I like to do is just sort of like get everything sort of mixed up and so they're not just you know uniform. You want it to be sort of mixed up looking. Okay, the next thing we need to do is make our stem, our little hanging loop stem and leaf, okay? So let's put the orange yarn aside and we're going to grab our green yarn. Now I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. Now our leaf is completed in just one round. It's super easy to make. So grab your hook. So I'm gonna zoom way back in so you can see. What we're gonna do now is put a slip knot on our hook. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop. Reach in with your hook, bring up a loop, and tighten. Next, we're going to chain four. So to make a chain, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the loop. One, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna join in the farthest chain from our hook to make a ring. So insert in that farthest chain, bring up a loop. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. And now we have the ring that we're gonna work our stitches into. As a side note, if you prefer the magic ring, please feel free to do that here instead. Okay, I'm also gonna hold this tail along the edge as I work so that we can weave that in as we go along as well. Okay, so to begin, we're gonna work six double crochets into the center of the ring. So to make a double crochet, wrap yarn around the hook, insert the hook into the center of the ring, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the last two loops. That's one double crochet. We're gonna do a total of six. So two and three. and four, and five, and six, okay? So this is gonna end up being the bottom part of our leaf. Now we're gonna come up the side of our leaf, and if you need to push some stitches over to give yourself some room in that ring, that's super helpful to do as well. We're gonna work the side of our leaf next. So we're gonna work four single crochets now into the center of the ring. So insert the hook into the center of the ring, bring up a loop, you'll have two loops on your hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. So we're gonna do a total of four of those. So that was one, then we'll do two, three, and four. Pushing things over as needed. Now we need to make the little point of our leaf. So we're gonna do this with a treble crochet. So to make a treble crochet, wrap yarn around hook two times, insert it into the center of the ring, bring up a loop, you'll have four loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the next two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Pushing things over again as needed. To finish up our leaf, we're gonna work four more single crochets down the other side of our leaf. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and four single crochet, okay? Next thing we wanna do is join with a slip stitch to close the round. So insert your hook into that chain, or that double crochet, that first one you worked, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Now it might look a little misshapen right now, and that's okay. We're gonna straighten things out. Cut the yarn, fasten off, by wrapping yarn around the hook, pulling it through the loop, tightening it down, and then remember that uh, tail we held along the edge? Give that a nice tug and trim. Then what you wanna do is grab your tapestry needle, thread it, flip the uh, leaf over, 
Now this was the side that faced you while you worked. Flip it over to the back and you're going to take it through all these tail uh, stitches rather. Go in one direction. I like to take it in the other direction. Help keep that tail locked into place. And then you can take your scissors and give it a little snip. And our leaf is complete, but what I like to do is just kind of sharpen up that top, straighten out the bottom, and just get it more leaf shaped like our other one, okay? So we can put that aside, and next we're going to make our little hanging loop, okay? So for the stem, it's super duper easy. What we're gonna do is make a simple little chain, okay? So let me just zoom out so you can see. Let's put a slip knot back on our hook like we did before. And then what we're gonna do is chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now we can incorporate our leaf in. So we're gonna make the bottom pointing down. So in the back part of this leaf, we're gonna work two slip stitches into those centermost uh, stitches that you see, okay? So what we do is, holding your yarn and your hook, insert it into, lo so locate the bottom two stitches. I'm gonna do this stitch and this stitch. So insert it into that first stitch that you wanna work into. Bring up a loop through that leaf. Now you'll have two loops on your hook. Bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Hop over to the next stitch and do the same thing. Insert the hook, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Now our leaf is added on to our loop. Then we're gonna chain 20 for the remainder of our hanging loop. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, okay? Then we're going to cut our yarn and we're gonna fasten off, wrap the yarn around the hook Bring it through that loop. Okay, so we have ours on here. And the reason I did four added leaf and then did 20 is so that leaf can kind of sit at the base like a real piece of fruit, okay? So then what we're gonna do is you can grab your tapestry needle at this point, and we're gonna take one of our tails here, and we're going to thread it. And then we're gonna kind of dig our fingers until we can find that center ring where we began and just put it right through that middle and don't worry if things look kind of funny right now because we're going to straighten everything out at the end okay now I'm going to pull it through not all the way just till the the chain gets to the base here okay I don't want to like keep pulling it through like that I want to just pull it until where the chain starts is at the base here okay now carefully slide your tapestry needle out thread the other side. Now we're not gonna go in the center hole again. We're, do, we're gonna go just outside that, okay? So that we can, if you put it through that hole too, it would just fall through, okay? So we're just gonna go, see how I'm going just right outside of that center ring? And we're gonna pull that through until the chain base gets to the center, and not anymore, okay? Now pull that out, and then what we're gonna do is tie very tightly at the bottom I'm gonna do about three nice strong knots. And now, if you trim these to flush, it'll kind of disappear and nobody will see it, okay? So dig those back out. It's very snug down here because of all these um, ruffles that we created, which is a good thing, okay? And I just trimmed my tails. Now flip it back over. And now you have this super cute little hanging loop. And I'm just gonna kind of reshape, now this is my orange. So I'm just gonna kind of reshape it up and it looks very, very cute, okay? So if we put them all together, we have the orange that we made together, we have this cute little lemon, and we have an apple. Um, I encourage you to get creative with any other colors you may have that look fruity. So that is the mini fruit scrubbies. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again. Thank you.